Uh, you're watching The Right Stuff live on Five this Tuesday morning with Dr David Bull, Amanda Lamb and Dawn Porter. Uh, was a judge right or wrong uh, to clear the way for a lesbian teacher to carry on seeing the 15-year-old pupil she'd been having an affair with? A music teacher, Helen Goddard, was jailed for 15 months yesterday after admitting sexual activity with a child, a child, of course, who happened to be a pupil under her care. Goddard, 26, and the pupil who comes from a private school in England got close earlier this year when the teenager confided that her parents were splitting up. Soon they were spending nights together at Goddard's flat, sharing a bed, even going on a trip to Paris to join a gay pride march. Their relationship only came to light when the girl confided in two friends who couldn't keep a secret. The police were then called in to investigate. They found sex toys and handcuffs at Goddard's home. And yesterday, Goddard was behind bars on the sex offenders register and banned from teaching kids for life. But... Judge Pitts refused to ban her from staying in contact with the girl, saying he thought that would be, and I quote, unnecessary, unkind and cruel, as the girl who turns 16 next week says she still loves her. Now, the girl's parents are furious. They told, told the court their daughter had been taken advantage of while in a vulnerable state. Their daughter had been led to believe that further contact was within the bounds of a normal relationship and that the relationship can continue when she turns 16 next week. Goddard doesn't understand, they say, what she's done how she's broken the contract between teachers and pupils. Do they have a point, these, mum, these parents? I mean, I can't help thinking it would have been a different story if it had been a male teacher. Just a, just a thought. Um, David. Um, it, it's very easy, isn't it, just to say this is completely wrong. Um, but having just read it all and gone through it, it does just feel completely wrong. Yeah. Um, it, you know, the, ultimately, this was a person in a position of responsibility who was 26, mm -hmm. who apparently is very young for her age, but still she's 26. What on earth who, that means, I don't who know. Who basically a teacher, so. had a relationship with an underage girl, and teachers are in an immense position of authority. An underage vulnerable girl. Mm. Exactly. Who is still underage. Personally, I think, given that they found her guilty and she signed the sex offenders register... She and she's be, behind bars. She's behind bars. She should be banned from seeing mm -hmm. that girl. Because I think it's all very well saying, you know, do you still love her to, to the... The girl's to the, 15. To what the 15-year-old. But also, she's been unduly influenced. So I don't think, you know, you can say that this has been made uh, as a rational decision. I would, I, I personally, if I was the judge, would have banned her from seeing her. Okay, Dawn, yeah. what I, do you think? Well, I just think this is a real classic um, case of how men are treated differently. You should do. Women... Dawn does teach a people yeah. sex as a series. <laughs> um, I'll watch. Yeah. I, I think it's a classic case of how um, men are considered more predatory than women and therefore more of a threat. And yeah. the fact is, right, is that women point. can be equally as predatory and equally as manipulative. And, you know, I don't think that there should be... I feel really sorry for men in this situation. I think you're absolutely right. It would have been it would have been a much harsher penalty. He wouldn't have been allowed to see her again because it would have felt like he was the dominant person yeah. in this. But because she's a girl and she's pretty, I, I really think that's got a lot to do with it. And I the do fact too. Is, I mean, she's front page, full length yeah. photos. Yeah, and she looks Times, gorgeous. The, the fact is, she's a teacher and she had sex yeah. with a pupil. Gender aside, What it's about wrong. the pupil who is 16 next week Saying, but I love her, this is a meaningful relationship. You know, I don't care what my parents want. They've split up, they're doing their own thing. This is, you know, this is the woman I, I, I love. Does any of that count for anything? Well, it does, but let's see what happens over time. I think the fact is that she is under 16 at the moment. Right. And, you know, this law is in place because it's for the, it's for the benefit of, of people who are young and easily manipulated. So, you know, that's, if... the, that's exactly it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. to protect it's the to young protect. and the easily manipulated. So let her be protected for a while. I mean, I was banging on about how in love I was with loads of people when I was 16. You know, six months later, it's gone away. And I think it's really important that this is something that plays out in time. Yeah. Um, but I, but the, I think the main thing about this story is that, oh, I would love to see what was being done with this if this was a man. Just think it That's would be why I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have that in common. What do you say, Amanda? Well, I think it's interesting that, you, you, you know, you're saying if it was a man. What if it was a, a female teacher and a and a boy pupil. I wonder whether people, it's yeah. a you, you only have thing. to look back at some of the cuttings. There was the Canadian teacher who was deported, yeah. and people were making light of it. Well, look at the, you know, the, the boy getting you know, and extra the film, education. The, the film with um, Kate Blanchett notes on a scandal where she played a teacher who had an affair with a with a with a, a boy pupil, and I think that this whole lesbian oh, it doesn't really count because they're girls. It mm. you know I, I find that bit. Very unnerving, but what I find strange, like you said, she's she's vulnerable. Her parents are getting divorced. She's fifty. Yeah. My hormones were all over the shop mm -hmm. at fifty. But the judge you know, said it would be unkind and cruel what's to the fifteen-year-old to prevent further contact. See, and I, yet, you know, I would have thought that's exactly what was required. What is unkind and cruel is allowing it to continue because yeah, exactly. at some point something is going to give, and and unless they go on and live 
it, you know, in, go into their grand old age together, there is going to be trauma, and she's far too vulnerable. If your parents are splitting up at, at 15 or 16, you, you're in a right Although to maybe, it. OK, now I'm just having to think. So she's, she's 15, she'll be sitting there thinking, as indeed I think Goddard did, I mean, Goddard punched the air when she found out that she could maintain contact. So they're going to be thinking, you know, our, our relationship was right, you know, the yeah, judge yeah, exactly. is effectively yeah. saying yeah. our relationship is, is acceptable. Yeah. Maybe that will allow it to run its course much quicker, whereas uh, forbidden love, Romeo and Juliet, for example, tends to throw people, yeah, bring right. people together. So maybe... And I was maybe. thinking that at the beginning. I was thinking, you know, if I was that, if I was that girl's parents, would I, would I put up a fight and say, you are not to see her, you are bad for me, or would I say, you know what, fill your boots, off you go, and within six months it will probably change. But she's only 15, she's a minor, and it's mm. too... I mean, okay. the judge is just insane. It's a bad message as well, <laughs> I think, for message. future relationships that could spark between teachers totally. and people. But I do think it's... Okay. The gender thing. I think the fact that it, it, well, it's well, lesbians not. Yeah. Let's see if uh, the people at home agree with you. Uh, is it? A, is this a classic example of sexism in the courts? Uh, what do we think? Was this judge out of order as well, allowing this relationship effectively to continue? Let's see what you say, Kirsty. Bernadette's online too. Bernadette, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, what do you make of this story then? Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, Matthew, look, I'm I'm a practicing Catholic. I have four children. I'm the mother of four children. And if my child was, was attending a school where there was a, a teacher in a position of responsibility and care of my child that seduced my child, I would be looking for that teacher to be prosecuted for um, paedophilism, sexual assault. Um, I would, uh, you know, I, and as far as the, the judge was concerned, I would like, he needs to be removed. It shows you how sick we have become as a society when our children go to school and they get sexually um, molested, whether that be an emotional matter or whether that okay, be a physical, I don't know the details. Bern Bernadette, let me throw this at you and to the panel, actually. Uh -huh. in, in, in the Mail's report, uh, one of the bits of evidence that it reports is that the girl sent the teacher something like 150 text messages. Mm -hmm. The okay. teacher sent the girl something like 60 text messages. Mm -hmm. Can we, if we were, go with me with this, if we were to extrapolate the, from this that it was the teenager that did the running, OK, does that make any difference? Well, that makes the teen... Obviously, that's totally wrong, and, you know, the parents need to address that issue with the teenager. But I'm wondering, I'm wondering, why did the teacher send the text back when she was in a position of responsibility okay, and care? OK, that's, that's yeah, one point, Bernadette. One Hold your message saying, don't text me again. Uh, does, it, does it make any difference to, to your take in this story, Dawn, uh, that, 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 that perhaps the girl may have done the running? It doesn't matter. Doesn't, yeah. The teacher should be um, just pre prepared. I had a crush on my drama teacher. I would probably expect, looking back, if I'd have come on to him, for him to have stopped it dead. Yeah. Like, there should not have been 60 text messages. There should have been well, one saying, don't text me again, and then... Maybe someone should have been informed, or maybe that teacher should have stayed away from the pupil Absolutely. if they thought that the. Ch but how did she get to stay over as well? She stayed over at the teacher's house. And she's they went staying to with Paris friends. Come on, she's fifteen. We were all doing that when we were staying over with friends. No, uh, were you not? Uh, well, I was, but my but right. my mother would phone my friend's yes. mother and say, "Is she coming?" So to let's you? run through this. Can I have your friend's number's phone number? Of course you can. Here it is, and you hand over the number of your teacher. It's an easy way to. It's an wow, easy way to go around. Wow, you're much more devious than I was. <laughs> <because> <laughs> <just> <laughs> <in the> <laughs> This should have been stopped straight away. You know, as, if I was a mother, I haven't got children, if I was a mother and I'm driving my kid to school, the last thing that would come into my head would be that my child is going off to have a relationship with the person that's trying to be, teach it about life and educate them. I just find it so shocking and what a devastating result of sending okay. your child to school. OK, thank you, Bernadette. Let's have another one, please, Kurt. Um, we've got Laura, who actually had a relationship with her teacher, and she's on line three. Uh, morning, Laura. Hello. Well, then, from your point of view, uh, what do you make of uh, this judgment? Well, I, I believe that... I think you're all going to be patronising that she's 15. Well, it's um, not I about patronising, Laura, Laura, Laura. It's not about patronising, it's the law. Mm. Yeah, all right, it's the true, law. Absolutely. OK. Um, and I was a couple of years older than her. Um, I was 17 when I had the relationship okay. with my English teacher. Um, but I couldn't be deterred from that. It was my decision, and... I, I thought I was in love with him. And OK, I, I, I'm sorry, from my perspective, there's a fundamental difference. Yeah. OK, she's below the age of consent. The law has actually been changed now so that teachers, even with pupils of 17, uh, are not allowed to have a relationship because uh, the pupil is within their care. Um, a few years back, that wasn't the case. Uh, 17, I think, is different from being 15 because the law says it is. Yeah, I suppose, but I, I don't uh, know. I how did things work out with, uh, with your... Was it with a male teacher? Mine was Ms. Mal's teacher, and it was for it wasn't for very long. But my brother married his Spanish teacher. <laughs> <So>. <laughs>
don't know where to go with that, Laura. <laughs> 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 um,